Hey guys, so I haven't done a water baby advice video in quite a long time, um, and I was doing uh, my daily, uh, whatchamacallit, um, energy, <laughs> the daily energy to be aware of on Instagram, and I'm also trying to do it a day ahead so that people on other side of the world can also get um, their information in for what they need to be aware of before the day actually comes or when the day actually is there. I wasn't really cognizant of that, so thank you for those who brought that to my attention. Um, so yeah, I was doing that. And this energy for August 11th, I thought was actually really powerful, really powerful energy. Um, August 11th is gonna be a day of um, some major uh, self mastery progress and some lessons learned about controlling yourself and what that means as far as what, what the universe brings you and law of attraction. So. And, and I know that I'm preaching to the choir for most of you, so this probably applies more so to people in your life as opposed to just you. Um, but, you know, this, this, this feeling that people get when they get really upset about things that happen in their life, right? Like, let's say, you know, we all get tower moments, right? Get a tower moment that comes your way. Sometimes you get upset, sometimes you don't. Um, but some people get so upset by the things they experience and get so can be so resentful that they can become stubborn, or kind of controlling, you know, like um, like the person who tries to always be prepared for everything and like, that's never gonna happen to me, that's never gonna happen to me. Like that energy of struggle, right? The energy of struggle, the energy of fighting against what is given to you, the energy of fighting against well, what is just the ebb and flow of life. And when we hold on to energy like that, when we choose to be stubborn, when we choose to be controlling, that energy just gets returned back to us, right? So August 11th, some people are going to be finally learning that lesson of controlling oneself and what that really means and how we react to things, how we respond to things. Um, taking things as they come is a big lesson that will be happening for a lot of people. Like, wow, there's so much happiness to be had if I just accept that life is ebb and flow. Things will happen in the highs of life. Things will happen in the low of life, but everything happens for a reason. And it's this energy of accepting, learning from your experiences, right? And then just moving forward. Um, when we decide to be stubborn and control, we just are constantly in that state of struggle, constantly in that state of like, no, 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 this isn't gonna happen to me. I'm not tolerating, like, you know, just very, blah, <laughs> about life and things that happen. But if things happen in your life and you just take it as it is, like, yeah, that happened, that was out of my control it happened for a reason i learned from it and you release it you let it go and when you do that you allow that energy of acceptance and peace to come back your way holding on to anything just brings more of that back to you right so when we go into this lesson or at least this skill set of mastering your own energy from within right? Choosing to be within in your energy of, I am going to be of love. I am going to be of peace. I am going to be of acceptance because that brings me emotional fulfillment. That brings me peace of mind. That brings me happiness and things that happen to me, things that happen in my life, things that people do are just things that I can't control. The only thing I can control is myself. And when we learn to control ourselves, we learn to control our energy. And once we master that, we learn how to basically use law of attraction to our benefit right and i realized this when i was going over the energy for august 11th it was like wow it's like i never thought about it in terms like that before but it's very true you can't master master <laughs> you can't master law of attraction you can't harness law of attraction towards your benefit if you don't learn how to master yourself if you don't learn how to control yourself if you don't learn how to have that inner peace inner love inner calm you you can't it, it's actually quite impossible if you constantly let yourself like especially you know your reptilian brain if you constantly let your reptilian brain take over and just get pissed off about all the things that you just think are unfair or all the things that's just like well this is just hard and so i will be mad because this is just hard and you hold on to that shit you're just gonna get more of that shit it's almost like like quicksand right like, well, I'm just gonna fight the universe then. I'm just gonna fight the universe. I'm just gonna stay stubborn because I'm just angry. And then just like quicksand, more of that energy gets brought back to you. More of that struggle energy gets brought back to you. And then you get to a place where you're like, life is just unfair. I just got a shitty end of the stick. As opposed to recognizing 
it's a self-induced cycle, right? And if you stop and release all that shit and you just take the time to be like, oh, I actually can choose to be happy. I can actually choose to have peace of mind. I can actually choose to just be in a loving energy regardless of the shit around me, regardless of the shit that happens to me. And that is true happiness. It really is. And then in that moment of realization, in that moment of, of harnessing that kind of energy, very quickly you come out of that quicksand, right? Because more of that love comes to you, more of that peace comes to you. So for anybody struggling with any of that stuff, because and I'm not saying you shouldn't be mad about things that are, you know, upsetting. And take your moment, but don't hold on to it. That's my point. Don't hold on to it. <laughs> Excuse me. When we hold on to that shit or try to control every little thing, that's when more of that struggle, struggle energy gets brought back to us. So have your moment. You know, we have emotions for a reason, you know. Injustices are injustices, and it's okay to be upset and express your upsetness about that. But handling it in a healthy way to process it, to release it. You always got to release this shit. The more you hold on to shit, like, the, the more havoc just comes into your life and the like, less happiness you tend to have in your life, the less emotional fulfillment you have in your life. So I'm not saying to never react or to never ha experience these emotions. Just don't hold on to them. Don't hold on to them and don't become resentful of the universe because it will be resentful right back. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm saying. It will be resentful right back. And when you learn to master yourself and control your reactions to things, control how you process things, and then live a life of release, live a life of love, peace, um, and again, that like inner calm, life is so much easier, guys. It's so much easier, and then once you master that, you can master law of attraction to your benefit, because it's all about what's going on within us. Anything that happens externally to us is connected to what's going on internally within us, right? Um, so anyway, just wanted to put that out there because I thought it was actually a very like profound, you know, message. And as I was doing the the post on Instagram, I was like, oh my gosh, that is an amazing way to think about it. So just wanted to stop and give that little piece of advice. Again, this is just advice. It's just me talking. Y'all don't have to listen to me. Um, but I do think that would help a couple people out there. So I hope you guys are good. Take care. I'm going to get started on the fire signs today and I will see you guys later. Namaste.